Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Side Blogger, and today I have a tutorial that kind of serves dual purpose. So the tutorial for today is going to help you with your Medium account if you're a writer on Medium, the writing and publishing platform, but it's also a Canva tutorial. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So I have here uh, in front of me on my screen a Medium story by Gareth Wiley or uh, I'm not sure how he says his last name, but anyway, Gareth is a writer on Medium, whom I really like. I read his stories all the time. And Gareth does this really cool thing. If you scroll down to his stories, most of his stories at least, he has some really awesome buttons that he designed himself. So these are the buttons that I'm talking about. One of them says... Uh, be notified when I publish, so assuming that's an email subscription button. Um, not assuming, I know it's an email subscription. <laughs> um, the next one says uh, unlimited medium articles, so it's uh, Garrett's referral link um, for people who want to sign up for medium. Um, and then the last one is buy me a $2 hot chocolate, which is a really cute way of asking for a tip. So um, a lot of medium writers, myself included, often have CTAs, call to actions, at the end of our stories. So I often ask people to sign up for uh, Medium using my referral link. And what I do and what a lot of other writers do is that we use text, like plain text, to just, you know, ask people to do stuff, like for our CTAs. So I would have like plain text that says, um, sign up for Medium using my referral link, blah, blah, blah. And which is fine, um, but the thing is that, um, Text is kind of, you know, sometimes it can be a little boring, but when you use buttons like the ones that Gareth is using, they kind of pop. And now it kind of depends on, you know, it's up to you. Uh, some people like plain text, others like cute buttons. It kind of depends on your personal aesthetics. But if you're someone who likes these splashes of colors, um, then you might want to know how to make these buttons and how to use them on Medium. And that's what this tutorial is about. Now, Garrett most likely um, used Photoshop to design his, um, his buttons. Photoshop, I don't know, maybe something else. But what I did, and you may have already guessed, I designed some buttons using Canva. And these are uh, the buttons that I made earlier. Um, a couple of days ago. So uh, this one says subscribe to my newsletter. This one says, the next one says buy me a chai latte XOXO. So anyway, these are my buttons. These are Garrett's button and you can design however you want your buttons to look like. I just want to show you kind of quickly how to get started designing buttons with Canva. So let me get rid of this and go straight to canva.com like so. And to design a button, what I want you to do is click create a design right here up top, um, as it says right here, like so. And then uh, when this, uh, this pops up, go to the bottom of this list and um, click custom size. If you follow my mouse, I hope you can see it. And when you do that, when you click custom size, it will ask you for a width and height for your new design. And I have realized that for buttons, the ones that I designed for my Canva stories, the best size seems to be 800 pixel by, the height can be anything between 80 and 100 pixels. So I was uh, playing around with it um, earlier and I realized that I, some, for some buttons, a little skinny is fine, like 80 pixels. For others, 100 is better, or basically something between 80 and 100. So feel free to play around with it and see which, which one you like. Um, so I'm going to start with 100 pixels for the design that I'm going to do today. And then create a design like so. And that pulls up a new Canva design that's 800 pixels by 100 pixels. And what I like to do right away is I go up top right here and I give it a name, medium button tutorial so I know what is what. Um, and then I'm gonna start designing the button. So for this tutorial, I want to keep things fairly simple. So I will just go ahead right away and go to elements from the left 
menu items right here if you follow my mouse right here okay so click elements and then uh, click lines and shapes from right here and there are a bunch of shapes here what i want to do is i'm just going to i'm just going to choose like any one of these shapes the rectangular shapes and then i will use my mouse to kind of drag the ends of this until it covers all the you know all of the background and then i'm going to click on the shape again to pull up all the um, options that are specifically related to the shape and i will click the border style button right here and I don't want any border weight, really, so I'm just going to leave it at its default zero, but I do want to change the corner rounding. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this and make it 50, 5, 0. This will create a really nice circular shaped ends for this shape, like so. And after that, I'm going to click the shape again, and I will click the color option up top right here and then I will change its color. So Canva has lots of options. It shows you some default colors, some default gradient options. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click the add a new color option at the very top left. And I will click gradient. And I will choose the colors um, like that. Because I was playing around with it earlier, I, was, um, I found that I kind of want to use these colors. They look really nice, like so. I might end up editing it later on, but for now, let's leave it at that. Um, so yeah, this is now a gradient background. Um, Canva is really cool. It allows you to create these gradient backgrounds really easily for any shapes or any design backgrounds, so, which is kind of neat. Anyway, so after that, I'm just going to add some text to it. So I will go ahead and click text from the left menu, and I can just choose any of these styles. I'm just going to randomly select this because, you know, we're going to end up changing it anyway. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, give it a width like so. Oops, don't, don't want to... Um, want to move the background shape just this one and I will say something like send a tip like that and I will um, now click the text option right here and Canva has a ton of fonts um, to choose from and I want to choose something um, a little I don't know um, heavy a bit so maybe I'll choose this one, Archivo Black. It's pretty heavy, pretty black, um, thick. So that looks good. And I will change the size to something a little bigger, maybe 42 or 48 even. For, okay, 48 looks good. I want to move the text up a little bit until it's centered like so. Yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good, actually. Um, and then I think I might even make it all capitalized. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select the text box, and then I will select, or I will click the uppercase option right here, if you follow my cursor. Um, so you can toggle it on and off. And I will also give it a little more letter spacing. So I will come here, spacing, and then it says letter spacing right here. And then I can use the slider or I can, you know, enter a number directly here. So I'll just use the slider for now and kind of eyeball it to see what looks good. Um, this looks good, I think. So I will leave it at that. So this is a button. So you can just download this one and you can use it as a button and that should be perfectly fine. Um, but just to, you know, jazz it up a little bit. What I want to do is I'm going to get rid of um, this A here, um, and I know this because earlier I was playing around with it, and use the space bar to kind of add some space here. And then I will go to elements on my left. Um, let's get rid of lines and shapes so I can once again see all the shapes. And in the search bar, I'm going to search for heart. 
So I'm looking for heart shapes, like so. And I'm going to look for, I don't know, graphics. Under graphics, I want to see what kind of shapes are available. There are plenty available here. How about this one? I could use this one like that. Kind of like that, maybe. So instead of saying send a tip, it's like, you know, send heart tip. I don't know. <laughs> the heart kind of works as a T. I don't know. It's a little um, little touch of detail. I, I don't know. It, it just looks good instead of a plain send a tip. Um, send tip, basically, but with a heart in the middle. Um, and yeah, I think it looks good. But now the, the heart color, it's an image, so I cannot change the color of the heart. But it doesn't really go well with the background anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and change the background colors a little to, um, so that it goes along with the heart shape. And maybe uh, instead of the purple, I can use something a little more reddish. Like so. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Or maybe a bit of a yellow color instead of red. Like that. I don't know. These are all kind of clashing. I feel like the purple one was almost better. Like that. And maybe instead of this pink, I can use a bit of a yellow touch or orange touch. Like that. Change the pink a bit more. Like so. Okay. I think this looks a little better. But maybe I can make the yellow a bit more yellowish, like so. How about this one? I think this looks much better now. Um, and then I can change the text color. So I'm going to select the text. And then I will come up here, choose text color, click text color. And then maybe make it a little lighter black instead of total black like that. Okay. I think this looks like a really nice button. Send tip. Um, and with a heart in between. Uh, it's kind of, kind of, I don't know, retro vibe going on. So anyway, we are done with designing our button. So now pay attention of how I'm going to save it. So I'm going to go up here, click share, and then click download. And then I will choose uh, PNG. It's, uh, the default is usually PNG, so just make sure that it's in PNG. But I'm also going to make it transparent background so that, um, you know, where... Okay, let me get rid of it for a second. So let me explain something. As you can see, these are um, white. They, they have, like, some white corners. And when you make something transparent, it's going to basically, the white corners are basically going to turn into whatever the background color is. Now, medium, if I go to medium now, medium has white background by default. So even if you don't have, you know, uh, even if you don't use transparent PNG and download with the white corners like so, you're going to be fine. But the problem arises is when somebody uses the mobile app, because the mobile app, you know, in the mobile app, people can turn on the dark mode. And when they do that, the background basically turns black. Um, and then if you have the white corners, it's going to look silly. So that's why I recommend that if you have like this kind of corners, it's better to download your design as a PNG file with transparent background turned on. Now, the transparent background is a Canva Pro um, a pro only feature. So if you're on a free Canva, you can't use the transparent background. Um, so you're just going to have to download it as is. But if you do want to turn on transparent background, go ahead and sign up for Canva Pro. Um, it's only like uh, 10 bucks per month or something like that. Um, but the thing is, if you don't use Canva too much and you, you feel like you don't have any use of Canva Pro, you can always just sign up for a 30-day trial. So anybody can go to Canva and sign up for a trial. It starts with a trial, actually. So, um, you know, sign up for a 30-day trial and just make sure to cancel your, um, you know, 
your subscription before the 30-day trial is up. As long as you have not previously used the trial, um, you should be able to sign up for it. But if you have already used up your 30-day trial, then you won't be able to, but um, still just, you know, just putting it out there. So anyway, um, make sure to check the transparent background option and then click download. And that downloads a transparent background PNG button image on your uh, computer. Now, let me show you quickly how to use the button. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new medium story. And let's assume that you have written your story, blah, blah, blah. Um, to add the button, just, you know, uh, as you would add any image because you actually saved an image, um, click the plus sign right here on medium, click the image icon right here, and then choose the button that you just um, downloaded from Canva. And that's what the button looks like, but the task doesn't end here. So um, remember that these images, when people click on them, they go to you know a specific link. So to add a link, to make an image a link, you have to click, the, click that image and then on your keyboard, hit Control K, Control plus K, which will pull up the linking option, the hyperlinking option. So you can now go ahead and, you know, um, I'm just gonna use a dummy link example.com to show you how to add a link. So yeah, basically select the image, uh, click Control plus K on your keyboard. If you're on Windows, if you're on Mac, it's Command plus K. And then just type your link, hit the enter button to make the image into a hyperlink. And that's it. But that's not all. When you click the image, it's going to show you an alt text option. And I highly recommend that you add an alt text because these are for accessibility purposes. So if someone doesn't understand that this is, a, this is an image, um, the alt text helps them understand what that image is and what it does. So click the alt text and say something like, click this image to leave me a small tip. Thanks. That's it. And then click save. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And then this, you know, this acts like a button basically when you publish your story. Um, similar to what we saw, you know, um, what I did on my Medium story. Um, stories published. So this right here is showing you what the buttons look like. So I didn't you know, design these exact buttons that you see here, the button that I just designed. I actually like this much better than the other ones. Um, it came up pretty well. Um, anyway, that's how you uh, design buttons for Medium with Canva. Hopefully that should be some, should, that should be some, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. That should be useful to you, um, hopefully, if you like buttons, but there's no pressure. You don't have to use button. You can just do what a lot of other writers do. What even I myself do sometimes um, is that I just write, you know, with plain text that leave me a tip or sign up for a medium a referral program or sign up for medium using my referral link or whatever. Um, it's totally up to you. But if you like cute buttons, this is how you do it. That's it for today, and I will see you later. Bye!